I'm Dave, this is Dave's Weird Project, and I am back with more FTL. We had it a little bit rough last time. We're low on fuel, took some damage, lost some crew, uh, but we're about to go to a new sector, and who knows what the future holds. Let's head out. <laughs> so we've got two hostile sectors, the Mantis Homeworlds or the Rock Controlled. <sighs> I don't want to deal with a lot of borders, so I'm going to go for Rock Controlled. Mantis love to do boarding. The Rock people are a powerful and proud race. It is not unheard of to have a peaceful journey through their lands, but don't count on it. Yep. Okay, I was hoping to see a store right away, but c'est la vie. Let's go here, give us the most exposure to new places. And we're out of fuel, hopefully we will get some here. You see a small trading post and ask about refueling, but they respond, go away, we don't serve your kind here. Well, I'd sure like it if you did. Turn the beacon on. I contemplate that it is unfortunate the shift's life support system does not rely on FTL fuel cells. It is fortunate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, here comes the fleet. The Distress Beacon's light is the only movement visible outside the ship. Man, this has never taken this long. Oh, here we go. A ship responding to your distress moves in. Unfortunately, it turns out to be an automated rebel scout. It immediately reverses thrust after scanning your ship. Okay, so he's trying to bug out. Uh, he's got a missile, so let's turn off repair and health so we can fire up the defense drone. And we'll just see if we can strip his shields as fast as we can. There's a defense drone coming in for us. <laughs> Although, and uh, yeah, oh yeah, oh shoot. His shields are down. That's good. But man, are we taking it hard. Oh, our weapons are down. Oh, we lost. <laughs> okay. This may be the end for us. Let's see. I mean, we have to get the doors fixed so we can vent. Although that's not a great idea either. Yeah, we're, we're in bad, bad, bad trouble. Okay, doors are fixed. Might as well put... Oh, yeah, we should... Oh, no, they did a damage to that. Okay. <sighs> yep, there we go. Well, that's a great way to start the morning. Alright. Well, luckily, that didn't take too long into our episode today. <laughs> and we can try again. I really want to use the NG ship again. It is my favorite. We're going to give it a new name this time. We're going to call it the Homer. Because of its steely donut shape. And I'm going to pause real quick while I find some commenter names. Alright, we've got... Empreg Daddy, Earthman Brick, and Escura Tartaruga. They're going to be our starting crewmates this time. And we're heading on out. The data you carry is etc. etc. Tip evasion. Evading enemy shots is crucial, but it requires functioning engines and a pilot. Have someone man the engines. Having someone man the engines will increase your evasion as well. Yes. Alright. Let's actually try that this time. Instead of shields, we'll, we'll start with engines. And let's see, we've got our ion blast. Got our combat drone ready to go. And uh, yeah, let's do it. All right. Pew. 
once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools, and they have tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational, and you move into attack. As you do. Alright, let's see. He's got just a little laser. Shouldn't be a problem. Fire up the combat drone, and off we go. Yeah, this guy never had a chance. <clears throat> One single shot laser. I can imagine the conversation on the bridge when they're figuring out what weapons to load out. But sir, what if they have shields? Ha! Ah. With the pirate ship destroyed, your ship had, your ship system is destroyed to full functionality. You saw what you came from the debris. Not the uh, most lucrative thing, but it was fairly easy money. You recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. Well, we know how this goes. We get him to surrender and then we get the laborers for very cheap, otherwise known as free. And we liberate them. Attempting to get away, but their engines are done. All right, they're gonna give us a mantis. We will accept their offer, and we shall name him Cruelty, or perhaps it's Cruelty. I don't know. They commented on one of my videos about cutting foam. Very helpful tip. All right, Mr. Cruelty, would you go? Kindly fix the med bay. A little assistance from some friends. And we'll pause till that's done. Okay, we're back. Cruelty is on shields now. Everything's fixed up. We're ready to go. There's a distress beacon down here. I'm a good person, so I'm going to go answer. It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a single life form. <laughs> Go down to the surface to investigate or ignore the signal. I guess we'll investigate. You find a colony that seems to have been recently attacked. Exploring the devastation, you find a lone survivor. Invite him to join your crew or take him home to his family. Let's take him home to his family. Overjoyed with the return of their son, the family of the survivor arranges to repair your ship's hull as compensation. One whole plant repaired. Well, hey, that's cool. Okay, let's see. If we come down here, we'll end up swinging up this way. Or we can come up here and swing around through these. Or bounce around. Well, yeah, let's try this. A little nebula action. Oh. This drone isn't looking for you. Perhaps it's scouting ahead for the Rebel expansion. Or maybe they're seeking to use this nebula for cover. Regardless, it identifies you as hostile. Well, I identify you as hostile. All right, so target the shields, bring up the drone. Explodes, leaving behind good stuff. Got a drone part. Place the one we just used. Some scrap. Jump. Ah, I store. Let's hit a couple more. Like they're they're fairly far behind. Let's hit a couple more before we go to the store to see if we can build up a good amount of scrap. 
You notice a flurry of laser flyer glance by the port window. The Mentis are upon you. Okay, well, Mentis. This is my drone. His name is Andy. Uh oh, missile. Doors. Fixeth the doors. Time. There we go. Okay, got some stuff. Another one. Do I want to go for this one too, since they're behind it? Sure. The jump leads to a completely unremarkable. <laughs> awesome. Dock with our feeling platform or ignore the northern feeling platform. A small platform orbit near this moon beacon. It looks like a fueling station of some sort and is cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices. Let's dock. Yup. The refueling station welcomes you into one of its berths, and as you hail them, there's an explosion from your engine room. While assessing the damage, you detect a pirate ship closing fast. Three damage to your home. Alright, well, Mr. Pirate Ship. Meet Andy. Oh, they messed up the engines, but we're fixing them. That's good. Ooh, weapons are having problems. Fix, 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 fix. Oh, cool. They surrendered. Uh, yes, we'll accept the offer. Alright. Everything and fixed. Ion Blast is back on. And we can go. Alright, so we didn't build up as much as I would have hoped. But it's something. So let's see. Oh, we could... Well, we'd have to sell some stuff, but we could upgrade to a combat too. They fire much faster. Um, cost a lot of uh, power, I believe. Yeah, power four. We do want to get fixed. Um... They've got several uh, NG people available, including Mullet. I would not rename him. Um, we got a halberd beam. We got a heavy laser. How much would we get if we sold the combat run? 25, which would be just enough to buy the combat to, but then we wouldn't be able to actually run it because we wouldn't have enough scrap to upgrade the system to actually make it fit. So probably not going to go that way. So yeah, let's fix everything. Buy a drone part just to stock up a little bit. And we'll give ourselves a power so that we can run the engines at full. Seems okay. And now that they're getting closer, we should head... Well, let's see. One, two, three, four. We can go that way. We'll make it. Receive a transmission. Sorry, sir. This is nothing personal, but we're under orders. Durable ship's weapons go hot. Well, so do mine. And Andy is on the job. Shield. Their shields are actually damaged. Let's switch to targeting their okay. disabling their weapons. Oh, their shields are coming back. Turn it away, except they well their pilot station. Oh, there we go, pilot station's damaged. Alright. Sorry, rebels. Got some fuel, drone part, scrap, all the things that we like to get. Okay. Nebula. Oh, it's the dangerous nebula. <laughs> you find two heavily damaged ships floating nearby, the remains of a battle. You begin to harvest some of the debris. 
usable debris when you hear the sounds of someone beaming aboard followed by the shots of a boarding party all right so who yeah we got a bunch of people up there so let's come down here to the bay we're gonna turn off the weapons because we don't need them for this we're gonna turn on the med bay and the oxygen because those are very important and we're gonna turn on the engines that they charge and we're gonna do a little switcheroo here and then we're gonna open all the doors okay so they should be feeling the effects of yep, there we go Feeling the effects of uh, vacuuming very quickly. And fighting us in our med bay, which is a extremely losing proposition. I might fast forward this in editing. Okay. Close the doors. Alright, ship is fixed. Options is back to full, ready to go. Jump over here, to quickly turn some things back on if we get in a fight. You arrive at the next beacon, only to be immediately hailed by a small shuttle. Help us, we're being attacked by pirates! Aid them. Pop weapons and engage the ship. Alright. They got a laser and a beam. That beam will be trouble if they have the shields down when the laser comes. Come on, shields, come on, shields. There we go. Oh, there it went. <laughs> I got that, uh that beam through the shields one time. The pirate ship breaks apart, you hasten to contact the civilian ship. So we recovered our drone part and our fuel. They respond, it's a good thing you came when you did, we'd be dead now otherwise, I'm a shipwright and I'd like to help you like you helped me. The captain offers to install a piece of equipment on your ship. Oh, nice. This thing is much slower than our Ion Blast 2. But still, like, any supplemental ion uh, attack is amazing. Okay, everything's fixed. Nobody's hurt. Let's take a look. So we need two power in the system uh, to run that. So let's see. We could get... We could do one... But then we'd still need another 50 and then 50 to get the power to actually do it. So we need, what was that? 135 scrap to run that. So let's not invest anything yet. Let's see how we do. It may be that selling it for something else is the right play. All right, so we're going to head to the exit now. You arrived at the long range beacon. Charge up that FTL and go. Uh, oh, some pirates that want to bribe us. Uh, no. We don't hold with piracy. He's also got a beam, but it's much smaller. Got some beam envy. Oh. One time. Two times? One time. Two times. <laughs> Almost got him. Almost got him. Okay. Alright. Decent amount of scrap. And upon closer expression, you realize the ship under attack was a rebel scout. It's too damaged to put up much of a fight. Use the leverage you gained by saving their lives to convince them to delay the pursuing fleet. Now, in terms of min-maxing the run, this is pointless because we're leaving. 
it would be more cost benefit to destroy the ship and salvage it. But I'm a good person. Fleet delayed by one jump. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe we could use that time to go to here. Sure. And then they died. Stumble all the workers forward scout of the rebel fleet. All right. A couple different lasers. And they're trying to get away. Let's mess with their engines. Yeah, bang, bang, bang. Oh, they're hitting hard. Oh, they're also whiffing pretty good, though. Let's see if we can... Okay, very close, very close. <laughs> Destroyed them right as many things got set on fire. Alright, so we're going to do this. We're going to bring you here. We're going to open doors to put the fires on. Ship breaks apart and you're relieved to know that you're still one step ahead of the fleet. Actually got a, you know, a, a profit of fuel on that. Alright. Come on, fires. Okay. So we'll pause while we get all this fixed. Alright, that was fairly expensive. They did a good amount of damage. Next sector. Gosh, this is only the first sector. So let's see, rock controlled or uncharted nebula? Let's try the nebula. Nebula, we're always dangerous places. Many electronics fail in these clouds. You will have to tread lightly. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, one of the few places outside the nebula down here. And a very limited p choice of paths until later on. This looks a little more... Gives us more options than this one. pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. Well, it says pirate, so we're going to attack it. Alright, they've got two shields. Oh, they have a cloaking device. We haven't seen this yet on the channel here. That's part of the... Um... Oh, no, 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 it's not. They've always had cloaking devices. Yeah. Um, so there's an expansion for this, or a DLC, or whatever they call it these days. Uh, oh, that's great. <laughs> and um, it added some other systems. I wonder if I don't have the expansion content on. Because we haven't seen any of it. There's like hacking, and cloning bays, and mind control stations. Yeah, this case is actually going to be kind of tough with the with the cloak. Yeah, we're we're not in the best shape. I'm inclined to let us die. <laughs> This run has not gone well, and we're only in the very beginning of Sector 2. <laughs> we realize our ship is no match for yours. Are you sure about that? If you let us go, we can make it worth your while. Sure. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Jeez. I'm glad they think that we're something special. Pause while we get repaired. I left the recording on pause this whole time. 
we went through a lot of things. <laughs> I guess I'll just see in editing how much it was. But anyway, we arrived in NG Space, and a ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off the distress call. Shall we investigate it? It could be dangerous. Search for the ship. <laughs> you find what appears to be pieces of a derelict ship coated with ice or crystal. Before you have a chance to dock, a few asteroids get past your shields and partially damaged your engines. You'll have to pull out five damage to your hull. Hmm. Wonder what that was about. Okay. Ta -da, let's go. Let's go here. Here we have a Zoltan research facility. They say they're researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. The last couple times we had this one, it was uh, they were hostage and we had to get in a fight. Hmm. Your crew calmly lands up for the Zoltans to take their readings. After a short time, the process is done. They contact you. Thank you for your participation in our study. Please accept these small cakes made from stiff dough as well as some scrap. Well, all right then. This one. You receive a wideband message. Free schematic samples. Be sure to visit our new military-grade drone store opening in sector XR-145. Some scrap and an anti-personnel drone. That's cool. Mm, no, I'll head for the quest. After a quick search, you discover the Hidden Federation space dock. They offer you some supplies in addition to fully repairing your ship. Thank you. Fuel, a drone part, some scrap. Things are looking up now. All right. Let's get a little power. So we can now run the defense drone or the anti-personnel drone without having to turn anything else off. This is good. Here's a store. Uh, I'm gonna try to build up a little scrap before we go to the store. Let's see. I think we can hit two before we go there and still stay ahead of the fleet. You see a small rebel carry in the distance. You lay low and try to blend in with the other traffic. However, it's surprising to see a rebel military ship alone deep in NG space. Yeah, that's super cool. Uh-oh. This beacon has been placed too close to a supergiant Class M star. This ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. A pirate apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun moves in to engage. Okay, well... They've got two shields. Let's fire up the combat drone. Target their shields, and let's try out our anti-personnel drone. Oh. <laughs> the anti-personnel drone is not the drone I was thinking. It sits on your ship and goes and fights boarders. The boarding drone is the one that I was thinking, which shoots over to their ship and boards. So we'll turn him off. Since he's not... He doesn't have anything to do. But he'll sit there and we can turn him on when we need him. So that's cool. Go fix the door. Eh, we can... No, we need the doors. Because... We're going to get fires pretty soon. Fix the doors, fix the doors, fix the doors. Fix the doors. Yes, we'll accept your offer because I don't want to deal with you. <laughs> Come on, fires. Come on. Go out. Go out, fires. Okay, perfect. We will go to the store and close the doors after we get there. An engine ship hails. Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. All right. A lot of interesting things. We get the repair arm. Uh, basically, you heal up after fights, or every time you collect scrap, um, but you get less scrap. So, meh? It's, I've had it before, it's not bad. Long range scanners, shield charge booster. Uh, system repair drone. Another combat drone we got. Some NGs to pick up. 
I think I'm going to pass on all of this. Do I have anything I want to sell? Like, this guy doesn't really do a lot for me. I think I'm going to sell him. Um, fix. Fuel. Drones. Love to get the drone recovery arm. Alright. Anything we can do to the ship. Some of the passive systems might be nice to upgrade. Uh, like the doors. Yeah, put one in the doors. Alright, let's close our doors. Wait for the oxygen to come back. And then put... Good old Esquadra Tartaruga back on weapons. And here we are. There must have been rich pickings for pirates around here up until the war broke out. The pirate you encounter here looks worn down but hungry. You'll have to fight. Alright, well, if we gotta fight, we gotta fight. Let's blast him. No uh, missiles, so we're gonna worry about the defense drone. Uh, let's get that oxygen fixed, shall we? Oh, he really messed up the drone system. <laughs> Crap. Oh, gosh. Oh, we're in bad shape. Oh, the things that this is on fire. Oh, no. Combat drone, wake up. Okay, you can stop fixing that for now. Bad trouble. Okay, those are fixed. Help him fix the shields. Okay, go fix the med bay. Oh, the engines. Okay, that's fixed. Go fix the engines. <laughs> oh, yes, I'll take your surrender. I don't want any more hits. Oh, you jerk. He'd fired one right before he offered surrender. Okay, go fix the drones. Alright, so we're coming up on... We're a little past time, actually, so we're going to stop here while they fix everything. Hopefully it'll all be good when we get back. And until next time, take care, everybody.